So Jill, you are the CEO of Beat Industries, but not only that, you are also the president of Manufacturer CT and are actively involved in women in manufacturing. So you clearly have a passion for manufacturing that goes way beyond just your company. Can you tell us a couple of different things, why you got into manufacturing and what might be the unique aspects of working with a manufacturing company? Sure. I got into manufacturing um, as a fifth generation family member. So I know not everyone has the family connection, but many of our employees, like our tool makers and our quality technicians came from Votech high schools and community colleges. And in a lot of cases were encouraged by their mentors or teachers to pursue a career in the trade. So um, we had one employee in particular who went into nursing and then didn't have the experience she'd hoped for and found more engagement um, here at our facility. So uh, a lot of stories like that. That's awesome. And I know that your CFO is also a woman, um, right? So what are, the, some, what are some of the opportunities that you see um, for women in the, in the manufacturing industry that um, you see you know, in the future coming down the pike? I mean, there's, there's an incredible opportunity for women in manufacturing, especially um, you know, in the engineering field. Um, at my company, we have more machine operators, more women machine operators than men. So, um, and they're all pretty badass. And they have an incredible work ethic and they have great attention to detail, which is important as well. So, That's awesome. And those are great stories. I do see that with my own clients as well, that there are more and more um, women that are getting into manufacturing and not just at the administrative office level, but also in the warehouse and the operation level as well. Um, what is some of the advice that you can give to women that are looking to enter manufacturing or maybe currently are uh, in manufacturing in one shape or form? I would say, you know, don't hesitate to speak up that you're looking for challenges. Um, if you want to be involved in special projects, say so, because there's really no shortage of them in manufacturing. There's a ton of um, there's a ton of things that can be done. And I, I would also say to get involved in the manufacturing community, kind of surround yourself with other women in manufacturing and network, um, you know, whether that's a local association, like a trade association in your area, or um, there's a national association like women in manufacturing. Um, that's a great place to, it's a great resource as well.